How to successfully implement Sales Cloud? You know about Salesforce Sales Cloud. It can help you automate your sales process and make your life easier. But you do not know how to successfully implement it in your business. Well, sit tight with your notebook and pen because I am about to guide you through it all. Hi, I'm Shrey, your Salesforce Hub. In this video, we'll explore how to plan and implement Salesforce Sales Cloud. We'll cover everything from setting clear goals to ensuring your program runs smoothly from day one. Let's get started. So step one is to define your objectives clearly. Define what you aim to achieve with Salesforce Sales Cloud, such as streamlining lead management, improving sales forecasting, or enhancing customer communication. Understanding your goals will guide you through the rest of this implementation process. Step two is to plan and strategize and collaborate with your team to create a detailed roadmap and implementation timeline. This is where you have to identify the specific features and functionalities you need, such as lead tracking, opportunity management, reporting, and automation, and then allocate resources accordingly. Step three, set up user permissions and Salesforce objects. Configure the user permissions to make sure that your users have access to necessary data and features while maintaining data security. You can customize Salesforce objects to align with your organization's structure and business practices. To do this, use the modify or create feature for standard and custom fields, objects, tabs, and records as needed. Step number four is data migration and cleansing. Organize and clean your existing customer data before migration to ensure accuracy. It is always a good idea to utilize Salesforce data tools and resources to smooth out the data import process. Our last step, number five, is to customize and configure. The best part about Salesforce Sales Cloud is that you can tailor it for your specific workflows and business processes. You can configure fields, layouts, and processes to align with your sales team's needs. And there you have it. Your implementation is complete. There are some steps you should follow post-implementation to keep things running. Make sure to provide comprehensive training to your sales team so that they're comfortable using the platform. Integrate Salesforce Sales Cloud with your other business systems, such as marketing automation tools. It is important to ensure seamless data flow across departments for a comprehensive view of customer interaction. From time to time, thoroughly test different scenarios, workflows, and automation to confirm that everything functions as expected. It's always a good idea to address any bugs or issues prompt to prevent disruptions once the platform is live. Protecting customer data is of priority, so implement role-based access controls, data encryption, and authentication protocols for data safety. Gather insights and continuously improve your system based on user feedback and evolving business needs. It would be helpful to track key performance indicators to measure the impact of your implementation and identify areas for optimization. By following these steps and applying best practices, you can easily and successfully implement Sales Cloud in your business. If you still have questions, you can contact a Sales Cloud expert. We have many experts at Syntexa who can help you throughout the process. I've added a link in the description below for you to book a free consultation call with them. I'll see you soon with another video segment that will address some of the most frequently asked questions about Salesforce Sales Cloud. Till then, I'm your Salesforce Hulk. Signing off.